the white woman who's talked to many other white women and is a survivor myself, um, that it, they, white women are often more likely to report a black assault. They are more likely to highlight that violence and see that as violence. Whereas oftentimes the, this isn't coming out quite how I want it to right now, so. Shamed of ourselves, I think that we should take responsibility for the system that we've created. What are those numbers? Do you have them? And that may be based on who's reporting because I'm not trying to make it fit a plantation narrative. Yeah, they suffer from a different sort of um, racial stereotyping. Asian privilege, I wouldn't call it Asian privilege. Burkas and hijabs, people can wear that. That's a religious expression thing. That's not concerned about high heel shoes. And I tend not to um, criticize people on their what they're wearing because I think what we wear is an expression of ourselves, our culture, and I'm not from that culture, so I would rather not tell them what to do right now. Again, I didn't specify gender when I said sexual assault. <laughs> I mean, sexual assault is still an issue. Feminism is also dealing with sexual assault across genders. Too many people are getting raped. That's part of it. We need to bring all numbers down around rape and sexual assault. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah. It is close, though. As, uh, yeah. Save that. There are many European countries that have are much better off. Oh. Uh, white woman who's talked to many other white women and is a survivor myself, um, that it, they, white women are often more likely to report a black assault. They are more likely to highlight that violence and see that as violence. Whereas oftentimes the, this isn't coming out quite how I want it to right now. So this isn't coming out quite how I want it to right now. So. This isn't coming out quite how I want it to right now, so. This isn't coming out quite how I want it to right now, so.